What is going on, Pom Pom Gang? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Shantae, and I am the mother of the three beautiful Pom Pom Sisters, hence our name, Pom Pom Sisters. And today we are doing a protective style for the month. So this month, um, which we are currently in November, I will be doing feed in corn rolls to my hair after a failed attempt at trying a new product. If you haven't seen that video yet, go ahead and check that out. I will have the link available for you guys to click on. So to begin, my hair has already been in twists and they're dry, so we need to moisturize and hydrate because we're going to have to blow out our hair for this style. And I'm using a regular conditioner cream to help me with detangling my hair. You can use any one of your choice. Mine's will be the My Black is Beautiful line. And then um, after detangling with my detangling brush, I'll be going in with my blow dryer um, and styling primer, which is pretty much a heat protectant by Design Essential. And it's the Agava and Lavender line. And we'll spray that all over. Make sure we distribute that throughout the entire hair and we'll begin blow drying. Now, when I blow dry my hair, um, I like to have it on warm heat, but it is on a high blower. So it's blowing out pretty fast, but it's on the lowest heat possible, which is warm for my setting. And then um, I hold my hair to the length of how far it'll go out, and I just blow dry it going up and down the shaft of the hair until it's about probably 80% dry, and then I'll go in with my detangling brush and uh, blow dry through the shaft, down the shaft of my hair, just to make sure I get those ends as well so they're not too curly, because that's usually my biggest struggle is trying to keep my ends as straight as possible when I blow dry. And so um, I do this until my hair is completely dry. Then we will twist it up and move to the next section. And I work in sections of four when I am blow drying my hair. I'm going to shut up on this part and just watch y'all see how I work the next section doing the same exact steps as we did on the last. All right, now this is what one side of my hair looks like blown dried and the opposite side that we have yet to touch. So we're gonna go ahead and finish completing the entire style and jump into parting our hair and getting our cornrows in. My hair is currently right under bra strap length. Um, I don't know the actual inches on my hair, but I have set a goal for myself to try to reach waist length hair. So we'll see how this process goes. Now back to the cornrows, we are going to begin by parting. I will be doing six, six pretty, pretty good size um, um, cornrows. They're not gonna be very small. Um, I wanted something that's gonna be quick and easy. And did y'all notice that wall change? So I recently painted my wall. So now we have a new color in the beauty room. And hopefully I could do a beauty room tour sometime soon. 
But anyways, back to the review. So we're going to use the Murray's Edge Wax as my um, uh, edge control for my braids. I want to have a very sleek, clean look, which is why we blue dry the hair. And then this is the hair that I have prepped on the side for the feed-ins. You have to put in small amounts of feed-ins in order to have that feed-in look effect. I am using purple and black as my hair color because that's what I had laying around left over from previous styles. So I didn't have to buy new hair for this look. So that's why I wanted to go ahead and just use these last little bits of hair. And I'm going to slow it down and show you guys how I add my hair. I only add the hair to my left hand. I use my right hand to grab it off of the spoolie tray and then it's added to the corn roll with my left hand and it's only between that index finger and the thumb. That's the only hair that's get it. Then I'll rotate it around and we'll do it again, add another piece of hair. So I'm gonna show you three, two more times on how I slowly add it in so you can get an idea of how to do feed and braids. Now, feeding cornrows does it does require like intermediate skill. You do need to be able to corn roll for the basics. Um, adding the hair is pretty simple. It definitely looks a lot harder than what it actually is, especially once you get you know your pattern down. It it'll fly right on by. So I've also done feed in braids on my girls as well. They've had feed in cornrows, and Kalia's even rocked the knotless box braid, which also has that feed in effect so I will have links for those videos as well so you can check those videos out on how I do feed ins. All right, now that we've slowed it down, I'm going to go ahead and speed it back up so we can hurry up and get this over with. So we're going to do this for all six of our corn rolls and I add extension hair until I get about to the nape of my neck and then I just continue braiding it down as regular, adding my edge control to my hair to make sure it's smooth in that braid. We don't have any like frizzies and flyaways coming out of the braid. So then once that is all completed, we will move on to our next step. This style took me about an hour and a half to put in all six of my corn rolls. So now that we are done, we're going to use the foaming mousse and apply it all over our braids and this is gonna help keep those flyaways down once again. And then we're gonna go ahead and style our edges. That's like the most important step when doing these braids is our edges have to be laid and I'll be using the Murray's Edge Wax again. And since my hair is a little wet from the foam, it made it a whole lot easier to style my edges because I'm not very, very good at my edges. So just, you know, it's a hit and miss. Sometimes they're good, sometimes it's just like eh. So after we do that, we're gonna go ahead and dip the ends in hot water. I pour my hot water after boiling it in a pot in a little pitcher because the handle is a lot better to handle. And um, I don't let my hair soak in the hot water. I kind of dip it in and out, as you can see. And then to make sure those braids stay nice and straight and they don't get all those bumps and crinkles in it, make sure you pull all that excess water out and pull it down in a straight line so you can see how clean and nice those uh, the ends look. We're gonna do the same thing to the other set, dipping it in and out and pulling all that hot water out using the towel.
So right now our cornrows are completed. We've dipped them in hot water and we have added our foam to uh, the cornrows to help keep all those flyaways and that those stray hairs that didn't get caught in the braid. We're gonna make sure those lay down and don't go anywhere. And then I also, for extra measure, spritz my hair with Pump It Up spritz. So <clears throat> right now I also want to add like a bohemian look to my cornrows. And I went searching in my stock of hair that I have and it's just sitting in my closet. And I have a packet of the Freetress Deep Twist. And this is the color 4TP430, but I'm just using the color two since um, I don't have a purple packet of this hair. And we are gonna crochet little tiny bits of pieces into and down the shaft of the, the braids. So you will need a crochet needle. And we already have our hair prepped over here to the side and we'll begin crocheting it in and tying it to a knot to give it a bohemian look. Now, if you're not familiar with crocheting, it's just taking a crochet needle, pulling it through the braid, and uh, tying it or I wrap it around like three times to make sure it's secure and then I also am going to tie a small knot um, at the base of it um, just to make sure it doesn't move so this is just a last minute kind of cheat way of creating a bohemian look because I'm not braiding those curls into the braid it's already braided I'm just adding it in by crocheting it. So I slowed it down so you can get a better idea of how I'm adding the deep twist hair to the shaft of the braid. And um, like I said, you pull it through, loop it around three times, and then split the hair in half and tie it at the very end just to make sure it is secured and it won't come loose at the end of that braid. I'm only adding four strands of curls to each braid. I didn't want it to be heavy in the curls. I kind of just wanted that small bohemian look to go with it, um, just to add a little pizzazz to the end of those braids. And uh, once we are done, we're not gonna dip this in hot water. It's gonna stay as is, and we are completed with our look. <laughs> 